history documents that Africa, and Kenya in particular, is the cradle of mankind. It is my hope and prayer that out of the cradle of mankind comes the all-time elusive solution to combating climate change. African-led solutions to decarbonize and steer a low-carbon development pathway for the globe. We are gathered here today to make history as the continent of Africa. The world is facing many challenges, but none has become so apparent, so threatening, and so devastating as the threat of climate change. And we can only respond by making history at this inaugural Africa Climate Summit. Everywhere we look in Africa, there is a climate change related story to tell. For example, in Malawi, Hurricane Freddy led to the loss of 200 people and nearly 2 billion worth, 2 billion US dollars worth of damage occasioned. Last year, the Horn of Africa came out of one of the worst droughts in decades, where we lost hundreds of lives and thousands of livestock. In fact, for the first time in Kenya, we had to track water for our wildlife in the national parks and reserves. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, although African countries are making every available effort to deal with the vagaries of climate change, our economies are continuing to be weighed down by mounting debts. As we speak, 31 out of the 37 heavily indebted poor countries in the world are in Africa. Over 20 years of climate change negotiations have yielded agreements and promises that have delivered very little for Africa. Instead, the imagery of Africa as a poor continent, a victim, keep dominating the climate negotiations year in, year out. The fact that Africa has historically contributed very little to the global emissions has remained an inconvenient truth, yet receiving no reciprocity from the rest of the world for the contribution we make. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this inaugural Africa Climate Summit presents an opportunity like no other for Africa to change the course of history. Millions of young Africans are looking up to African leaders here to leave them with a promise, a visible promise, to make them feel that there is a future where they have hope to get green jobs, live a dignified life, and thrive. We are looking to the summit to chart a green growth pathway for the African continent, set the stage for Africa to lead the globe towards a more ecologically responsible global industrialization, catalyzed by financing that is accessible, adequate, and affordable. The world is waiting for something anew out of this week. We must not be held hostage to the past, but allow ourselves to reimagine a future where, as Africa, we lift ourselves from the fatigue of despair and make history. Excellencies, I am persuaded that the time is now, and I beseech us to respond to this historical call by proposing radical solutions to the world that will help us deal with the climate change. I invite us to listen to the inner urge calling us to serve humanity that we go down in history, that it is out of Africa, the cradle of mankind, that the solution for climate change came forth.